The violence and unrest in Sudan has taken a terrible toll on the people living there, but there is hope with over 350 evacuees having safely arrived in Saudi Arabia. In this video, we hear incredible stories of daring courage and struggle as people flee Sudan to safety. The conflict in Sudan began on the 15th of April with opposition forces loyal to Abdel Fattah al-Burhan and his deputy Mohammed Hamdan Daglo, commonly known as Hemeti, clashing in an all-out battle for control. As the war wages on, an incredible number of casualties have been reported, with the United Nations agencies estimating over 400 deaths and 3,700 wounded in the conflict. It is amidst this violence, turmoil, and unrest that those who escaped have described the harrowing voyage out of the capital city of Khartoum. The journey was made arduous by the inclusion of a four times disabled elderly women, young children, and babies who were carried by their parents. In total, nearly 200 people from more than 20 countries braved the formidable journey to safety. The first ship to reach Saudi Arabian waters was a frigate that dropped anchor at the coastal city of Jeddah on Monday night. Accounts from those on board recall a voyage that took up to 20 hours without any food, water, or rest. The United States were the first to make the daring rescue attempt, daringly entering Khartoum and spending less than an hour ferrying dozens of people to safety. Following the United States' lead, France and Germany quickly followed suit, taking their own citizens and those of other countries. The British military are still assessing how they can rescue their nationals from Sudan as critics blame them for missing a window of opportunity to evacuate more than diplomats and their family. The Saudi government has welcomed over 350 evacuees, 101 of them Saudis and the rest thousands of foreign nationals. The world has its hopes pinned on Saudi Arabia to help broker a functioning ceasefire agreement between the rival factions and end the violence. But even as the evacuees touch down in Jeddah, their hearts remain in Sudan where the conflict rages on. 